You say I look the same or you look the same? You look the same. We both look the yeah. same. So yeah, here we are in Baltimore. We're gonna head to uh, Oceana. No, wait. Naval Air Station Patuxent River. Patax and Patuxent River. Uh, where I'm gonna get up really early and I'm gonna get dunked and then I'm gonna do ejector seat training and it's all gonna prepare me for singing in a jet. That's tomorrow is the dunk. Today we're just driving and maybe eating. It says yes, we're eating. Oh, so you know him? Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> he, awesome. he was telling me who these guys are. Clear? Yes, that you is You have got the orange ID. Gabe, you were in the system, so Wait. here's your pass. Oh my gosh, there. that's my headshot from like... Yeah. That's not even called a headshot. What, what is the doing? heck? Wow! Yeah. So, yeah. so was, this was relatively easy then. Uh, I always double check because I've River seen crazy. River is, is the crazy uh, security, probably because it's all test evaluation. Take your Pokemon book. Welcome to Pax River. There's no river, and I don't know what Pax means, but we're having a good time. There's cameras in here. Just kidding. Yeah. You guys want to walk around? The amount of weight that these wings have to support, and they're so thin. Hey. This is uh, where I'm going to be doing my training tomorrow. Fortunately, I am tired and I'm not ready. There's a uh, air museum over there. Really what it is is it's a boneyard of decommissioned aircraft that they're calling a museum so they can still make a little bit of money off of it when people go buy a puzzle in the gift shop. <laughs> I mean, we can still get sushi, right? Boom. So go ahead and see it. Welcome to the morning. If I survive, then I'm good to go on a jet. If I die, then I will be disqualified. Because dead people can't fly. Is that the guy? So here we are at the Pax River flight training facility. I gotta do the, the brain training first. And then they put me in the water. <laughs> okay. Paperwork. Okay. So I didn't read the fine print before I came into the Navy. Um, you're looking for that little, that little tab. Pull the tab down, swipe it a couple times, and you can go right up. The way I see it, you always want to pre-flight your own gear as well. This is what's going to save your life. So this is what's going to absorb most of that impact. So if there's any frays or misstitching, you need that replaced. All right. So that one right there, what malfunction do we have there? Uh, that would be a partial line over. Yes, sir. I mean, I would, <laughs> hopefully in your you know, canopy is inflated. And I would think raft is probably the most important. Uh, well, the LPU and then raft. I'm gonna drown. What's going through your head? Uh, nothing. Hardly ever. Well, is there it should be I rock. I got the song. I am playing no games. I don't want to say it's gonna slip from my heart. So I don't you call me. I was just testing it. <laughs> I 
gotta go just a little bit slower. There we go. Don't pull. No pull. So you say do. Does you actually charge these with live CO2 cartridges? Yeah. That's awesome. After all that, we get to sit again. Yeah, it's uh, I'll be right over. I'll take them to the room. I'm H1 Adams. I'm going to be teaching aviation life support. Now they fitted you out properly because everybody is wearing all the gear that you're wearing is right here. Hopefully you won't be flying over the ocean. Now if you are flying over the ocean, one thing that you're going to have to put on is this. The thing that everybody hates is these dry suits. You're going to get to check out what a live plate does for you. Sweet. And you really want to make sure that this center strap right here, it is connected, okay? Here, I'll come on and I'll take it. <laughs> All right, we'll loosen it up. You. Now, make sure you're not looking down at it because uh, it is kind of fun. All right, go ahead. Down and away. <laughs> and you want to take your left hand, make a quick L shape with it, and then take your hand and rub it across that seam just up there. Yeah, I'm just trying to find yeah. it. Give that LQ a big squeeze. All right. And then, yep, you would just float it over there. Now, believe it or not, those LPUs will give you 65 pounds of extra buoyancy inside of the water. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Nope, still good. Alright, go ahead and look up in that parachute. What do you have? There you go. Look up. Alright, how are you going to fix that? Alright, good job, sir. Boom. Go ahead and look at your surroundings. Right toggle doesn't seem to be working very well, but the left toggle is. We're going to go over land now, alright? Bail out, bail out, bail out.
This is really fun. And I can tell you from being in the military that it is fun. It's hard work, but it's fun. And if you want to serve your country and have a good time doing it, join the Navy. But it's hard work. Don't complain to me later and like, this is hard, you didn't say it was gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard, but if you can handle it, it's worth it. Um, we've been at it since 07. It's now 14. And, um, we did all the water stuff. It's a lot of water stuff. A lot more than I expected. It's really fun. Next, we have some more lectures, and then we're gonna go into the hypoxia chamber where they're going to induce, I guess, nitrogen induced hypoxia. They're gonna starve us of the oxygen that we need to live. Are you even filming? No? I wasn't filming the entire time. You got your hand on your wrist, pulling up and you're just holding on as tight as you can to this whole seat and just kind of being one with it. Nice, everything's flush to the seat um, so you're not gonna hurt yourself. So go ahead and relax. Second part is your time breathing. So you're gonna have to take that three quarters of a breath. Third now, you're gonna make that low, quick low volume air exchange making the hick sound. Hick. 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 I tried to ride it out as long as I could, but mm, what I definitely feel 
like, first it was just kind of dizziness and a little bit of euphoria, and then I started feeling nauseous, and as soon as that happens, I'm like, okay, I don't want to feel I don't remember that. You said, can you hear me, and that's when I hit the O2. And then you started to go on that downhill pretty quickly. Yeah. So uh, you're, you're walking me I through this I wanted to do better. <laughs> Now, if you're qualified in Class 1 aircraft, this is what you're looking for, the F-18, that's all you need. Now, you did get through all the qualifications for Class 4 aircraft, so anytime oh, time in the next 90 days, mm. if you want to fly any of these aircraft, you are more than welcome time to. to call me. So, so I'm happy to give you this letter. I just want to say thanks for, uh, thanks for helping my daughter out. Uh, oh, absolutely. Uh, so, um, from me to you, this is uh, our patch. Wow. So, and they're they're themed patches. So this Ooh. one, this oh is my our, gosh. and <laughs> yeah, Flash, the my Flash. favorite superhero. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I've enjoyed wearing wearing that and on a couple of Aww. deployments. Wow. You wore this on deployment. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. I don't want to say this was this was my awesome. pleasure. All right, so just got done with the training. I'm now rated to fly in class one and class four aircraft. I don't know what that means, but I don't need to. Uh, so we are now on our way to Norfolk and it's about three and a half hour drive, which James is kindly providing. So I'll be providing dinner and it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty fun. I'm not gonna fall asleep. I'm not tired right now. That was easy. The training was easy. <laughs> stuff.